Now, when the pandemic hit, my next guest helped her Facebook friends by just sharing her personal biscuit recipe. One year, one year, in fact, to the week, and many videos later, she's got over 2 million followers, and her first cookbook called Brenda Gant, it's going to be good, y'all. Anyway, after seeing her videos for ourselves, we just had to get her here in studio to do a little cooking with us. But that wasn't as simple as you might expect. I'm as nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof today. I'm not an actress. When Brenda Gant started her cooking page on social media, she never dreamed she would become an overnight viral sensation. Fried dumplings. Today, folks from around the world can't wait to watch, getting step-by-step -step instructions to create her delicious southern home-cooked meals. Put that on there, and then close her up. And you just never know what she'll be cooking up next. It's going to be good, y'all. Bye-bye. All right, fresh from Andalusia, Alabama, and her first plane ride ever, would you please welcome America's favorite grandmother, Brenda Gant. Yes. <laughs> Brenda, you brought your fan club with you out listen, here. Y'all are wonderful. Thank you for being here. I am so excited, I don't know what to do. This is wonderful. You know, we thought you were kidding when you told us you had never been on an airplane before till no. we flew you here to do the show. Uh, yep, and I, I was great. Now was the question great. is, are you going to be able to fly home? Yes, yes. <laughs> Are you going to have to send for your things in Nashville? I wasn't hey, sure. Well, Nashville sure is nice. I may just stay a while. There you go. <laughs> you know, it's hard for me to even begin to get my arms around the fact that a year ago, you put out a little video about making biscuits. Now you've got a best-selling book about to hit the market later. You've got... Um, Two million regular followers, and your biscuit cooking has been seen by eight million people. Wow, that's right. From that's all over biscuits. the world. That's amazing. From all over the world. So what are you going to show us tonight? We're going to show them how to make a biscuit. Let's do and, it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and uh, so I'll just tell it to the audience, and, and yeah. I hope the whole world hears it. Y'all, this is so easy. So all we're going to do, I've got my famous biscuit cutter right here, and I've got me some self-rising white lily flour. Now, you got to have the self-rising, okay? Yeah. All right. And uh, you sift your flour, which I already did, and you make a bird nest in the center of the flour, like mm. that. Yeah. Okay. So then you take your grease, and you put about a little bit larger than a chicken egg. Now, everybody knows what a chicken egg looks like, right? <laughs> I love the measuring. I love the measurement. Yeah, it's not like, how many ounces? No, just a chicken egg. Just a chicken egg. You don't need to measure, y'all. Your grandmothers did it this way. You put it in there, and you get your container of whole buttermilk. All right. Okay. Yes, thank you. All right, I'll let you pour that in there. Oh, it's going to stress yeah, down the butter. All right, I'll now, tell you. Much, I'll, well, you'll tell well, me, okay. Just a, maybe a cup or so. Keep going, keep all right, going. All right. That's good. That'll Do it till it feels good. There you go. A little bit more just, oh, little. just for good measure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you take your hand. You squish. Y'all know that's a word? Yeah, that's a Sure. <laughs> you squish your buttermilk in with your grease until it um, kind of mixes together. You never go to the bottom of your bowl. You stay on the top. Okay. And you then start pulling in a little flour all the way around. Oh. And I'm pulling it in. And we're going to let these guys cut these biscuits, y'all, in just a minute. But I'm pulling flour in continually. All Look right? At that. And I'm making them up. Now, you think she's done this before? I want to twice. Listen, and you people out there in America, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> yeah. So. You learn to make these biscuits, and you're going to have a happy husband, which makes a happy home. There you go. There you go. Hear that, everybody. Happy biscuits, happy home. There you uh -huh. go. That's right. All right. Uh, Governor, you put your hand in there okay. and, and, and flour my surface. Flour your surface uh -huh. like that? No, this is a surface. Oh, you want this over here. <laughs> there you go. Got it. Okay. Oh, y'all. Uh, sort of, kind of. Governors have a lot to learn, don't they? Uh, oh, but he can cook a steak now. I can. <laughs> That's good. Okay. So this is about right. Can you see the consistency? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So then this is how you clean off your hands. You just do this. My hands are clean, by the way. And Yeah, we that, don't know where those hands have been. And no. y'all, I have some little grandgirls yeah. and a grandson, and they all know how to make biscuits. So well, you that's put, a good you thing. You put it out here, 
and you pull it together like uh -huh. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're ready to cut. You don't oh, roll no, it no, out no. or I anything. forgot something important. Oh. You gotta grease your skillet. Oh, okay. Okay, so you grease your skillet mm -hmm. like that. Is that a cast iron? That's a cast iron right. skillet. Mm -hmm. And Has then you cut. Has that been seasoned? Where's my biscuit cutter? Did y'all still It's right over there. Yeah, right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's behind the bowl. Yep. Y'all, this is 53 years old. When I was first married, I was kind of, George and I were kind of poor, so we cut a pizza can out. <laughs> <laughs> Made it's, us a biscuit cutter. Hey, so, it's lasted 53 hey, years. So you put it in your flour, good. tap it on your bowl, okay. and cut your biscuit. All right. Here Look you go. That. Perfect. And you put it in your skillet. So Now let's see if we could do this thing. Oh, you're doing a fantastic job. There. There was a lady on my Facebook. And if you want to watch me, it's cooking Keith, with Brenda Gant. Can you do that? Oh, yep. On yeah. Facebook. The pressure's on. What, I'll put it Little in Yeah, you okay. put it. Uh -huh. And um, he came in the kitchen. She was trying Pretty to make good, biscuits. And, and, he, and she said, I can't do this. He said, oh, my goodness, move over. I can do this. <laughs> so he makes them every Saturday now. That's pretty cool. That's right. This is fun. Oh, yeah, you're doing a fantastic job. So that's all it is yeah. to it. And if you have leftover biscuit dough, you can uh, what was roll this, it out. What was and, in this can originally? Pizza. Oh. Uh, I think, was it salt or was it? I, I think it was the salt, wasn't it? The, uh, the sauce, salt, I mean. Pizza salt. Yeah, I remember From a pizza. Chef Boyardee box pizza. <laughs> I thought it was sardines. That would give an interesting flavor. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> so anyway, you can take that leftover dough and make fried dumplings or fried mm. pies with it. And it's going to be wonderful, y'all. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. You've already so, won me over. So anyway, it's just, it. it's real easy to do. And you clean your hands off by rubbing them together. And we've made some good hot biscuits. Would y'all like to try some? Oh. Thought you'd never ask. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so we made these backstage and they're still warm. Mm-hmm. And so um, got a little butter here. Got oh, a little yeah. butter. And there's your there's plate. A knife and a plate, some. Keith. Some jam. There you go. Hope you guys are enjoying those over get there. Out of your way. So y'all hope guys. those are good, yeah. Appreciate Trey, I'm that. sorry there's not gonna be enough for you. Yeah, and you know, so. um, go ahead. Biscuits aren't just a breakfast food. You know, when you're having fried chicken and some good pork chops. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can oh. have this, and and I hope y'all know how to make gravy. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, now, if they okay. don't, you okay. can teach them, Nashville. right? Nashville. Um, and my some... daughter, she loves tomato gravy. Y'all ever had that? Oh, yeah. Uh, that... What about chocolate gravy? Was, you ever yeah, had that? I was telling you earlier. You I, have I used to go gravy? to school every morning on chocolate gravy. I... I can't decide. I think the first one I'm eat without jelly. And you know, you could make a syrup hole biscuit. That was an old timey mm. way. It's mm. good, mm. isn't it? No, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I this had, is a real biscuit. I had chocolate gravy going to school. Now I got diabetes. I don't think it has anything to do hey, with and, it. And, no. you know, and one of my Facebook followers said, Brenda, how do you Southern women stay so little and eat all that biscuits and gravy? And I said, well, we never sit down. There you go. There you go. There you go. What is that thing you say we, in Arkansas? There's a lot of things we say in Arkansas. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. This is fantastic. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, man. Mm. So we want all America to learn how to make biscuits. And uh, oh, no, I no. mean, from the East Coast to the North, everywhere. We want everybody to be able to make a homemade biscuit. Mm. Brenda, I can't tell you how much we love having you. Thank and in you. fact, what I want to do is pro get you to promise that you will come back again and we'll do some more cooking. That sounds wonderful. We'll we love you. And pie. America loves you good. and the world loves Meat you. Meat <laughs> Ah, oh, these biscuits are good. Too bad you can't have one, but you can if you learn how to do it like Brenda does. Oh. Keith, while I do some serious biscuit eating, mm. why don't you put your biscuit down and tell the <laughs> viewers how they can get more of Brenda's great cooking and Southern wisdom. If I have to. Yes, you can pre-order your copy of Brenda Gant. It's gonna be good, y'all, right now at brendagantbook.com. You can also check her out on cooking videos on Facebook.